A conventional and routine 3-4 radiocarpal portal will be used. A small incision is made using a mosquito forceps prior to the placement of the arthroscope. The arthroscopic guide will be placed first and the arthroscope can then be used to directly access the scaphalonate ligament, which is intact in the prison case just as the interosseous membrane. A 1-2 radiocarpal portal is then used. This will allow for the placement of the scope. The 3-4 portal will be used only for the passage of surgical instruments. Using a needle, the lunate bone ganglion will be very easily identified by passing through the intermediate portion of the scaphalonate ligament, which has no mechanical influence and which is not vascularized. A shaver will be passed through the 3-4 portal to enter the bone ganglion and initiate the curettage of the inside part of the lunate bone ganglion. A small curette is also used since the wall must be properly cleansed so that the graft can be effective. The technique may be painstaking and lengthy and it is essential to proceed progressively. Personally, I use water and the use of water will be discontinued when the grafts will be placed. Cleansing of the inside part of the bone ganglion is performed meticulously with the shaver. It is essential to perfectly clean the wall with rotating movements of the shaver and using the curette. The inside of the bone ganglion is perfectly visible here. Cancellous bone grafts will be sampled from the lateral aspect of the radius bone. To do so, a very small axis is used. A JAMCD trifin needle will be used to penetrate through the cortical bone structure of the radius and the cannula tip in the middle of the trifin will be removed. The trifin will be entered into the radius in order to sample the graft. Rotating movements are used to sample these grafts without any difficulty. Water will be evacuated. The scope is repositioned in a 1-2 portal. We will now deal with the bone ganglion. The trifin will be placed, filled in with cancellous bone graft. Entrance is made into the bone ganglion. See how easy it is to perform and one can imagine the difficulty in doing it using an open anterior approach. The grafts will be pushed inside the lunate bone ganglion without any difficulty. The grafts are adequately packed inside. The trifin is removed. Using a small graft pusher, the grafts will finally be packed inside the cavity. This maneuver is very easy to perform and the scope offers an excellent view. Other grafts will often be sampled using the same small axis as the bone ganglion is fairly voluminous here. Generally, two or three samplings are sufficient. The cavity will be thoroughly filled in using the grafts which have been sampled on the radius bone. This is a very local approach. The filling has now been achieved uneventfully. The small graft pusher is then used. Sometimes a small spatula may be used to correctly pack in all grafts inside of the bone ganglion. When traction is released, the anatomical position of the lunate bone will come opposite to the radius and prevent any exiting of the bone grafts, which are now adequately packed. The bone ganglion is now filled in.